Welcome to Jordan Lovin' Daily. My first habit of gratitude. Very, very important. Yeah, and I'm going to take a little example of something now when I look back that I, rec- I recognized that I have gratitude for this. So when I was in elementary school, the principal didn't even want me in that school. And that was a very hard thing for my parents to understand. But they knew where they wanted to go. And they basically told the principal and said, no, Jordan is going to be in this school. He is going to be mainstreamed from there. So can you imagine, I'm like, think about this. Can you imagine an educator not seeing the value of a child? Think about it. you and your abilities in their school. Only judging a book by its cover, which is exactly what we are taught not to do. A very magical moment is beginning to take place, a habit of gratitude. You see, we either have a choice to suck when one door shuts, or we can be grateful when we're given the opportunity to rise to the occasion and become problem solvers. We learn to become our own private investigators. Our superhero skills are started to sharpen the moment we can be grateful for the growth that we find through our challenges. Take a moment, maybe close your eyes just for a second and just think about one thing you could acknowledge in your day that you can be grateful for. So think about that every morning when you wake up before you, or before you go to sleep. You could start off with something as simple as the bed that you sleep in or the bowl of cereal you eat in the morning. It could be as significant as your family. It is all about honoring where we are currently and building from there. Before you know it, you will find yourselves instinctively building a foundation of gratitude. Thank you for listening. Please check out my website for more great content at jordanlovin.com.